All right, had a good shooting workout earlier, finished up the film, heading upstairs now to uh, just do some more work. All right, a little equipment update here. Rachel is uh, counting. She's got some fresh hoodies in. Adidas team's not gonna get these for a while though. We gotta send them out, put a logo on them, all that good stuff. So uh, yeah, just checking in. Got some equipment stuff going on. What else we got, Rach? Anything new? Nothing new. <laughs> Really quick sneak peek. These out. Oh, these are white. That's why. Uh, these are fresh. Dames. These are nice. These are all the replacements. I'm not like the, these are all of our logo selections. We're gonna go with this one. This logo here from the gray hoodie. Little Christmas gift for the team. My mom has been up here for a week. She went home yesterday. She came up to visit me, which was really, really nice. So I live on my own here and I don't really get to go home much. So the fact that she came up to visit and got to see a couple games was really, really good. But she also was the interior decorator for the weekend. So my apartment was completely bare, honestly, for like the last year. Uh, I'm very, I'm just a very simple person and I don't really spend a lot of my time trying to decorate things. I just don't mind living in simple, but she came and uh, spiced up the place a little bit and I really, really like it. So we've got the TV stand over here, there. Um, we've got a nice little lamp, a clock. We've got our little seating area. I've got to still pick up some stuff, but we've got our coffee table. We've got the couch, the bar stools. Um, and then upstairs, I also redid upstairs as well, which I'll show you guys later tonight, but I moved the desk out of here that's now back up in my room. So just way more spacious in here now. So another update, I just got a package in from Ghost Black Friday sale. So this is their new pre-workout. Everyone was, I'm a big Ghost fan. I love pre-workout. A new shaker in the blue and yellow. All right and the tune squad flavor. So I'm about to go get a workout in right now. I'm gonna go watch some cardio. I have the Indiana Scout this weekend. So I've been watching them all week while also watching Army because that's the game that we really got to get on Thursday. Um, and then, you know, we're gonna do our best to try and devise some sort of game plan to compete and stay in the game with the number four ranked team in the country. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna head over to the apartment gym um, and just do some cardio and watch uh, Indiana's previous game and they also play tonight so just gonna do some scouting there and then uh, come back chill I have a recruiting call at eight so we'll take care of that and uh yeah that's pretty much it but just wanted to kind of film something outside of the office um again just another update vlog taking you through the month taking you through the weeks as the season gets rolling things are really getting busy so excited but uh thanksgiving's coming around we are in the swing of things and can't believe college basketball is back already but super excited that it is Guys, we are in Washington, D.C. right now. It is November 21st, continuing the vlog. Again, Boise is totally gone. We had a huge game last night versus the number four ranked team, Indiana. And we were so, so close. Um, this one really stings because when you're really close to a big game like that, um, and you know you have it for the taking and you don't come out with the win, it's uh, it's almost worse than if you were to lose by a lot, right? Because you were right there, we were right there. We were up by six at halftime, we were up by nine at one point. 
Uh, we just couldn't hang on. They're a really, really good team. Shout out to them. But our players played so hard, so damn tough. The atmosphere was unbelievable. Unbelievable for our home opener. So um, really, really good game, but we're on to the next. We literally got on the bus. The game was at 4 last night. Got on the bus at like 7.30 to head down to D.C. So that's where we are right now. Hotel life per usual on the road. We're about to head downstairs to meet with the staff to talk GW Scout. We have practice later today. We were able to sleep in a little bit. It's like 11 a.m. I got a workout in this morning already, and uh, now we're on to the next game. So this is the last of a three-game stretch in five days. So players' bodies are probably feeling pretty fatigued. Probably gonna go pretty easy in practice today, but uh, figured I'd pick up the camera and uh, you know try and film our first little road trip here. So get you back. We just finished up film in here with PH. Got B dubs. All right, little off day workout about to go down. Jill Casey leading the ball handling session. Yeah, Jill. What a beautiful day for some basketball. Got some cats in here working out. Off day grind. Here we go. I am home. It is Tuesday. It is November 23rd, I believe. Um, we got back really, really late last night. Just ate some breakfast. I'm about to head to the gym. Uh, just get a little workout in. Um, to last night's game did not go as uh, we had hoped. We did take the loss to George Washington. Um, kind of disappointing just after such a big um, game against Indiana where we really felt like we competed. We kind of went over a hump and uh, obviously realized like how good we are and how good we can be. Uh, to kind of lose that next game. A little bit of a buzzkill there, but again, it was a tough stretch, three and five days. Um, everyone was pretty exhausted. You could kind of tell all of our shots were short, um, but again, credit to George Washington. They had a great game plan, and uh, you know, unfortunately, we were not able to come out with the W. But with that being said, I think it's good for our players to get to go home for a couple of days right now um, and just kind of refresh, recoup, and be re-energized for um, the, the last couple non-conference games into conference play when they get back. All right, I'm at the golf course right now in Meriden on hole number four. I'm actually playing really well. I haven't played in like months. I'm gonna jinx myself right now, but just some, some me time out here playing some golf. Currently at the gym, just getting a little more cardio in and sitting down all day. So uh, currently watching some NBA, watching the Chicago Bulls a lot this season. Chicago Bulls, Charlotte Hornets have been my two go-to teams that I'm kind of trying to study a little bit this season. So right now I'm actually using uh, this platform called Instat that I really like. It kind of just breaks down clips in a little bit of a different way than Synergy does. So I can see more like pick and roll kind of scenarios. Um, literally can see any shot, any player who's guarding them the types of pick and rolls, right? If they hit the third man, if they hit the roller, if they hit the pop, um, just way more like specific over under switch. Synergy has the capability to do that stuff, but uh, I just like the way that this platform organizes it a lot more. And I'm a basketball junkie, so I don't mind uh, paying for subscriptions to different things. So I uh, watch a lot of my NBA and my Euro League on Instat, um, on that platform instead of Synergy. We're back with 
today. <laughs> I took the brand line. The three point line. <laughs> that yeah. of me, I wish that I could get that. <laughs> I could. Alright, update. We are in uh, Providence. We are in Providence. Yes. This is Providence, Rhode Island. At Providence. Playing at Providence tomorrow. We just finished shoot around. Yeah, we had a times. night, a little night shoot. How much how many times did How I many times did she just say <laughs> Providence? <laughs> we are at Providence playing the Friars tomorrow. We uh, had a practice earlier today. Now we're back for round two, a little shoot, um, so that we don't have to wake up too, too early tomorrow morning. Period. Blessed, hashtag yeah. blessed there. Yeah. But uh, yeah, got to get on the bus. First team dinner in like two years, so yeah. we're super excited. Can actually be able to sit down and eat in a restaurant. And uh, we're gonna have a good time, right, Rose Castle? Yeah. Yeah, Rose Castle. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, guys? It's like four o'clock right now. I'm currently on the computer typing up some early season thoughts. Um, just kind of gathering all my thoughts from the season so far. And I'm uh, gonna send it over to the staff, some ideas moving forward, things we can do, stuff to clean up, um, and just kind of get everything on paper. It's funny, like, you know, every day, whether you're, you know, you're driving to work, or you're driving home, whatever it is, I'm at the gym, I'm thinking of something, I'm like, oh, it's a really good idea, right? And I try my very best to like write it down in the moment, whether I jot it down in my phone, on my notes app, that's usually what I do. Or I write it down real quick. Um, you know, there's just thoughts all over the place. So finally getting today to just kind of sit down and kind of type everything up on one sheet and have it all in one place um, so it's not so scattered and then kind of just building on ideas. And it's funny, like you go back and you'll be like, damn, I wrote this down in like September, but I forgot to say anything about it. Or ah, I saw that play like, you know, in the summer and, you know, I think this could really help us. So just kind of getting everything together on one one sheet of paper. I do everything in Evernote. So it's pretty cool. It's kind of how I organize my uh, computer. So in terms of all my notes, I've been actually pretty good about it. So like offense, anything that I've learned from like clinics, uh, any articles that I see, plays that I like, I kind of go over here. So I got some ATOs and the games, um, you know, how to beat the ice, like different ideas that I've heard of stuff. If I go to like coaching notes, is any um, like podcasts or stuff that I've listened to um, in terms of Zooms or whatever it is, clinics that I'm at. So, you know, if I've had some hang time Zooms that I've been on, if I've got some drills that I see all in here. So pretty much, you know, when I went to Phoenix, all this, all my notes. So have everything pretty organized my podcasts all my podcast kind of titles i'm having michaela pivik on tomorrow from oregon state which i'm really excited to talk to her getting back to the roots of having players on she's currently playing with paula strotman eh, from quinnipiac shout out to latvia um everyone knows paula if you know quinnipiac basketball so having her on the pod tomorrow so all my podcast scripts i kind of put in here um so yeah evernote has been pretty much my life um, so this is the software that it is, and it's been really, really nice. You can put tasks in there as well. So whatever I need to do there as a scratch pad, you can pin stuff, you can draw. Um, it's pretty cool. So yeah, pretty much everything uh, goes into that platform, and I've been sitting here for about two hours or so now. I'm about to finish that up. 